I am Julie Zazada. I am the Executive Director of the Cedar Lake Historical Association and we operate the museum at Lassen's Resort and Cedar Lake. What Cedar Lake is really known for and the story that we are telling is the resort era history. So from the 1880s until the 1930s, Cedar Lake was very much a summer getaway for the Chicagoland and other area residents. And they would come and then spend their summers at one of the more than 50 resorts that grace the shores of Cedar Lake. So that's the story that we're telling through the museum. I had an introduction to Ted Breda from the Heston City Museum and he came out to my museum and learned about the history, this resort era history that I was telling you about and he looked through the pictures in the lobby, saw that we had had steamboats at Cedar Lake, the Lassens. That is literally how they founded their resort was by having steamboats that would um, bring passengers across the lake from the Monon Railroad Depot to our hotel or anywhere else that the passengers wanted to go. So he saw that picture hanging on the wall and he's like, you know what you need? You need a steamboat. Julie Zazada and I uh, got introduced by a mutual acquaintance. And uh, this, this person said, well, Julie's got a big project ahead of her and I thought of you. The idea behind uh, the Cedar Lake Historical Association really is to bring back that result, resort era culture. They weren't getting people to care about their subject matter, even those in their town. And so what we needed to do is make a big splash, right? We needed to make an awareness. And so when I saw that picture with the Dewey Line boats from 1890s, I thought to myself, you know, here is the answer. We get people out on the lake, we get people an experience, we teach people about the innovation that the Lassens brought to their lake, their community and their region and their business. And we develop a program within the Cedar Lake Historical Association that really will give people that tangible experience. The Alabama was on the grounds here and, and it sat for over 20 years and I bought it. In fact, when I bought it, it had a tree growing out of the middle of it. I took it back to Elkhart, refurbished it, put a new boiler in, and ran it on a lake that I live on in Elkhart. Ted and Julie got a hold of me, and we got it ready for, uh, for her to run at Cedar Lake at the museum. Well, the steamboat really brought an opportunity not only for the Cedar Lake Historical Association, but for the Heston Steam Museum as well, because we've never really been able to take our mission out on the road. And being able to be close to the Chicagoland area, draw a whole nother set of demographics. Uh, we've had events out here that are different, but really to create an entirely different program in a different town was really an experiment I was ready to take. So we're really um, fortunate to be able to have Society of Innovators recognize what we're doing. Um, in particular, again, the way the partnership came together across the region and the way we were able to develop that partnership and then how we are able to be a destination for Northwest Indiana. People talk a lot about, uh, especially in the post-pandemic world, about staycations and having opportunities to do things that are close to home. And um, we're happy to be able to have that opportunity for people to, to find and discover and learn about here in, in uh, Cedar Lake. My name is Jim Kincaid. My name is Ted Rita. My name is Julie Zasada, and I am a Northwest Indiana innovator.